91 News, the second serve for Novak Djokovic in his legal fight to stay, stay in Australia. Chaotic scenes outside the office of the Serbian star's lawyer as he heads back into detention. The latest on legal efforts to keep him in the country. How many police staff will be forced off work on Monday when the vaccine mandate kicks in? The court challenge and the challenges of enforcing the law with fewer staff. Plus, sorry, Your Majesty, Britain's government forced to apologise to the Queen for partying on the eve of Prince Philip's funeral, breaking rules she adhered to in her time of grief. breaking news. More serious volcanic activity in Tonga. We understand people have been evacuated from the waterfront amid a full-scale tsunami warning for the islands. Let's go straight to Simon Mercer. Simon, what's the latest you've been told from Tonga? Well, Melissa, in the last half hour, I've just been speaking to the Tongan meteorologist. The Party Gate Inquiry. Daniel Faitau, One News, London. Amiri Akine coming up. Be afraid and expect the worst. The ominous messages left by hackers targeting Ukraine's government as Russian forces gather on the border. What Moscow could be planning to give it an excuse to invade. When there isn't an actual crisis to suit their needs, they'll make one up. Evacuate now! Move now! Leave your stuff! Go! Going store to store and door to door, the desperate efforts to save lives as a wildfire sweeps through a Colorado suburb. Plus a 23-year-old crowned the new king of YouTube. At the start of this video, we had 456 people now down to these two. Oh yes, my kids love them. The elaborate stunts that have seen Mr. Beast rake in millions. to tonight's breaking news. A tsunami is hitting Tonga right now after more severe volcanic activity there. We have Tongan journalist Mary Fanua on the phone with us now. Uh, kia ora Mary, you're in Nukiolo for the capital. Understands it's a rapidly changing situation. Can you describe what's happening there? Yes, oh, my lovely, yes, uh, thank you for calling, yes, we're in a very precarious situation on the Nukalofa waterfront, and you'll forgive um, the wobble. Hopefully everybody was able to uh, listen to the warnings and get to safety. Thanks, Mary Fanoa, a journalist in Tonga. FI Akine still ahead, the race back on track for the first time in nearly a decade. Who won out in the battle of man versus machine? Turn to tonight's breaking news. A tsunami is hitting Tonga right now. Simon Mercep is with us. Uh, Simon, what's the latest you've been told from Tonga? So we just heard the journalist, uh, Melissa um, Mary Fonua, talking about what she could see from her position. One news. Right, Andrew's heel sport. Goodness, there's really only one sport story, isn't there, mm. to talk about? Novak Djokovic back in detention in Melbourne. The Aussie soap opera continues. And more players are joining the chorus today. They've had enough of the whole situation. Also tonight, do you remember this bloke? I only get twice for myself now, and I, and I win all of them. Here's one of our tennis greats. as a quiet word of advice for Novak Djokovic. Plus, one of our sevens rugby greats in a warrior shirt. We'll explain all next. And hold on to your chicken wing. We have the Kiwis taking on the world in a new high-tech sailing class. Welcome to sport tonight and as we go to air, the shape and future of the Australian Tennis Open is at stake as Novak Djokovic fights the Australian government's latest attempt to have him deported. Another court hearing tomorrow will decide his final fate if Djokovic loses, apart from other issues. It means this year's event, starting on Monday, is thrown wide open. Still one of our great sporting characters. And a long way to go on the other see, story. Thanks, yeah, Seth. See you tomorrow. Coming up, Renee has the latest on X Tropical Cyclone Cody as it heads our way. Service describing the volcano fallout as an acid rain. 
Uh, this story is still developing. You can stay across the latest at onenews.co.nz or on our social media. That includes Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you for an update at 7.30 as well. But from all the One News team here by the port, have a good night.